Let's talk about windows and layouts in SpaceMax. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert at that and there's quite a bit of complexity there. You'll want to do your research and practice. Windows are the frames you edit buffers in. For example, if I split my screen like that into three buffers, these are three windows as far as Emacs is concerned. You can access the commands related to Windows with leader key, space, W for window, and you can see a number of features there. You can use these, for example, the HJKL to navigate the windows, but also capital K, L, etc. to move the windows. If I do space W and capital J, I'm going to move the current window down. Now you have distraction free modes with C, C for uh, toggling the buffer centered, which is quite nice, I think. I like one feature, space W, M, to maximize the current window. And when you do space W, M again, you toggle it maximized. Space W, I should say V, to split the window horizontally and I'm going to delete a few with space WD and space WS to do a vertical split in this case. And again, space WD to delete the currently active window. You are only deleting windows so it doesn't do anything to the files or buffers that are open in them or that are open in general in SpaceMax, which you can browse with space BB and you can do fuzzy search by doing so. The interesting part is has to do with layouts. Uh, right now, if you look at the bottom left of Space Max here, there's just a number for the window. And if I split the window, there's a second window that pops up with the number two. First, you can use Alt-1 and Alt-2 to jump between the buffers to make them active. I can also create a new frame with space W capital F and it's going to create another window if you want but it's going to be in a different frame, a different copy of my space max environment if you want. So then you can see the number now is three down there if I do Alt-1, I'm going to go back to my layout with two frames, so I can jump to them with Alt-1, Alt-2, and Alt-3 to go to my new frame. You can also then move it to a different workspace in your um, environment, your desktop environment. In Linux is Shift, Super Key, and Down. And now I can go between the two windows with my workspace, although I can also use one, two, and three in combination with Alt to jump between them. Okay, so I'm going to space W capital D. It's going to give you letters, as you can see, on top of the windows to pick which window you want to delete. So I can press D to delete the window on the right. One thing that's interesting is that you can load preset windows if you want by using workspaces and the best way to do that, uh, the way I like to, to do it, sorry, is using the project feature with projectile space and P to access the projects here. I'm going to type P and then you want to do L to switch project, but it's going to switch the project layout. L, and then you can choose one of your projects, one of your registered folders in Projectile. In general, Projectile is smart and it's going to recall the folders that had some version control system associated to them, initialized folders. So I can go to my power sequencer and when I do so, instantly it opens the last file I was working with, last time I was using it. In this case, my crossfade add uh, feature. And you can see one thing that changed is now there's a name before the buffer number. And the name is the name of the active layout. So if you work with that layout, if you do space WV, for example, 
Note that with VMK bindings, you can also use Control W and S, for example, or Control W V to split windows. I'm going to use space W D and space W D again to delete some windows. Now I'm going to load a different file. The file does not matter as much, but in the two windows that I have here, windows one and two, I have two different files. You could use that, for example, to have API documentation on one side or some reference file on one side and be coding on the other side. Note that with space W and you have a few keys to change the size of the windows. I think, yeah, if you do dot, you're going to have a transient state where you can resize the windows with the keys from the resize category. So you can enlarge, for example, the window with the open bracket or close bracket key in this case. And you can also use the angular bracket, it seems, although I'm having trouble to use them right now. But you have quite a few features that you can use. Space W dot, the dot is often used for transient state modes that you enter and that you can use to control your editor in different ways. I can go back to another layout. So I'm going to go with space PL to switch the project layout. And I'm gonna to go to my org folder, the folder I use for my agenda, my tasks, etc. Press enter. And when I do so, because I, I've been using that workspace before, I jump back to my uh, task file, my to-do, the main file I work with instantly. Space WCC, uh, I'm going to go out of distraction-free mode so that you can see that I have now the name org in front of my buffer number and my window number. And I'm going to open another window just so that you can see that when you switch layouts, you're going to get uh, the layout saved for the next time you enter it. So I'll go to my Kickstarter file where I have some work to do. And you don't have to do anything. I'm gonna to go to space PL, go back to power sequencer. And when I press enter, we go back exactly to where we were. But we've changed layout completely. It's recreated the frames if you want. And these are the frames one and two. Space PL, I'm gonna go back to org and it's going to go back to the frames and the buffers we had open before. So when we are talking about layouts, we are talking about specific buffers associated with specific windows. Okay, so now when you create a new frame, however, it falls out of the layout. I'm going to move it to another workspace so that you can see that this one has the number five associated to it. And so it's not part of the layout, which is only contained in one frame here. Meaning that if I go to my third window, the space PL, power sequencer, now it's going to jump to the two windows that we had before and reopen the files that we were working with. But now the window numbers are three and four, as you can see. And so we have two layouts open, two separate layouts open at the same time. If you are on a given layout and you want to jump out of it, you can go to space L for layouts and will give you a transient state here. And so you have the ability to go back to the default layout with H, H for home, which is a key that comes back in space max. You can also create new layouts with the zero to nine keys. To be fair, I don't use this very often. I use project layouts most of the time. You'll have to try them out, but you can then, so you can create some layouts and you can then quickly switch between layouts. Again, these are custom. You can save them with the S key. So again, go to space L to open this transient state and you can then save the layouts that you have produced here that are not necessarily associated with a project. And you can also see the name of the layouts that are currently available here and their number. So you can do space L, for example, three, 
will jump to my power sequencer layout. If I do space L1, I will jump back to the default layout. So if you want to talk a bit more about how you use the features, how you work with the layouts and this layout transient state, I'm sure there's a lot of features that I didn't get to talk about please tell us in the comments below. But for now, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. Let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.